Welcome back to America's Got Talent. We are live. And now, with our next act, when you meet him, you have to be very careful what's on your mind because he'll know exactly what you're thinking. From Westboro, Massachusetts, he's mind reader Eric Diddleman. My name is Eric Diddleman. I am a mind reader. So we're going to collect your drawings. This is a self-portrait, Howard. How does he do that? Oh. He still has eyebrows. I started magic around fifth grade. I was always really into the David Copperfield specials. And uh, it wasn't until college that I kind of moved away from magic into the mind reading. When people see magic, they know there's an illusion behind it. For mind reading, all I'm dealing with are thoughts. Can you just name the name for the first time out loud? Robin. How'd you do that? I mean, there is that desire to maybe do something that no one else can do. I love Eric Diddleman. I don't know how he does it. Forget the first name, he's just Diddleman. 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 So, Eric, I've got two words of advice. And that's it. This is definitely the biggest routine I've ever done. Mind reading actually isn't 100% foolproof. Until I'm with that person whose mind I'm going to read, you never know. In Vegas, I focused a lot on Sharon. But this time, Howie, I'm coming for you. <laughs> jealous of you because I've secretly wanted to be a game show host. So tonight, I thought I'd give it a try. This should look familiar, but in my version, only one case matters. Before I came out, I tried to determine which of these cases you'd ultimately select and sealed my prediction inside this envelope. So I want you to take a look at all these cases and choose one number out loud now. Uh, 11. 11. Good. Sharon, we're going to eliminate one of these rows. Which row do you want to get rid of? The first, second, third, or fourth row? Fourth row. Fourth row, please open your cases. No deal. Howard, you also get to eliminate a row. Do you want to get rid of the first, second, or third? Third row. Third row, please open your cases. So far, so good. Now, Howie, at this point, before we open your case, you have one final decision to make. Do you want to keep this envelope or switch it with one of the remaining cases? Uh, I'll switch it. With what number? Uh, four. Case number four. You could have chosen any case. In fact, I even gave you an opportunity to change your mind. But there was one target case I knew you would choose, and you would choose this case. Oh. And so you know it's the only one. Can you open the last uh, cases for me? No! Wow! And in case there was any doubt, the target is case four. Wow. That's amazing. Diddle, man. 